celebrity question from the back here. Um, hey, so Coach Simpson says that you prove yourself to not just up in the moment. How prepared are you going for that? Which you'll see on Friday. Wait, sorry, I didn't get the question. Um, Coach Saban <laughs> says that, that you've proven yourself to not get caught up in the moment. How confident are you going into the atmosphere, that, the one like you'll see on Saturday? You know, everyone, I want you guys to um, really listen and listen closely. You know, this is my sister. She asked me a question. And this has nothing to do with the media. So if any of the media people have a question, <laughs> I'd really love to answer that question. That was a serious question. <laughs> oh, that was a serious question. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you please ask that again? You know, I think as a team, we're very confident going into an atmosphere like this. You know, I thought Tennessee was a very loud atmosphere, but a lot of the guys who played in previous years um, on this team said that this, this stadium is about two times louder than what we've heard. So um, this is just going to be one of those things where you go out there and, and you get to experience it. Yeah, well, I mean, every team that, that we face, we got we to gotta take them head on, you know. You got to prepare for them as if it's, it's a championship game. So there's no difference in, in how we're going to prepare for these guys. But um, I do believe that up to date, this is probably the best, um, best front seven team that, that we're going to play. They have a really good secondary as well. So, um, you know, and I think this is what college football is all about. You know, this is what the fans want to see. This is what everyone wants to see. And uh, getting the opportunity to, to go and perform at a place um, like um, Louisiana, you know, is going to be really exciting. So. so how did you personally get better school. during the bye week? How did you personally get better? Well, I mean, we, we had practices Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, just trying to fix things that um, need fixing. Um, and aside from that, I had training with, with my brother on Saturday with my dad, so that was all. And then church, so that was, that was, that was the way I got better. So when growing up watching this sport, playing this sport, uh, what comes to mind when you think night game in Death Valley? I mean, I never had the opportunity to really watch the SEC um, growing up. I watched a lot of the, <clears throat> the West Coast schools playing, um, but from what I know, um, with what a lot of the guys are, um, have been saying, you know, this is this is a pretty big game, you know, and this is a hostile environment that we're going into, you know, and so you just we just got to go in there, um, take on the challenge head on, and um, and we'll see we'll see how everything goes from there. The last time the team was in Death Valley, Jalen Hurts, you know, led them to a, a late late touchdown to, to yeah. win the game. What kind of advice has he given you as you approach this, you know, very hectic? atmosphere well we never had the opportunity to really talk about it um, because last year we or last week I mean we we're focused on you know just trying to get get ourselves better as a group as an offense and as a defense um, as well as special teams um, so you know we get that opportunity to, to really just focus in on on LSU now so um, never had that opportunity to really talk to him about it to how close to you are 100 percent on your knee how close am I to being 100% on my knee? I'm 100% on my knee. I feel 100% on my knee. Um, you know, a lot of the guys, a lot of the guys on our team, um, like I asked them if they need a knee brace because I don't need it. But these guys want to keep me safe, so I got to use a knee brace. So. <laughs> Thank you. Tua, you're, uh, you're like the phenomenon now that's happening. And I know you're trying to stay grounded and stuff like that, but are you amazed that everywhere you go, the spotlight is on you, everything you say gets posted, social media? What is it like for you, and how are you handling all that? Um, it's, it's cool. You know, it can, it can be fun um, at times. But, I mean, when you, have, when you have people who are really good, you know, supporting you, when you have a really good um, support group um, within your friends, your family, um, and just people that you surround yourself with, um, it's kind of hard to let everything get to you.